Hi everyone! You probably know that there are many ways to manipulate strings in C-Sharp and in this video we're going to show you five ways, personally my favorite ones, to manipulate strings in C-Sharp and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, the first one and the most common one is the string concatenation. I'm going to start by creating a string called first name here, I put my name, okay, and then another string with my surname. Okay, and let's suppose I want to join these two strings together. I can simply go to console.writeLine, this is the method to write some strings here in our console, and say first name, first name, plus last name. Sorry about the completion here. So we have the first name and the last name here. What is going to happen is that when we run this code, it will join these strings together. So we have our first name and our last name joined here. This is called the string concatenation. And this is done by this plus sign. By the way, this is called an operator, a plus operator here in C Sharp. You can do an override for this operator in your custom classes. This is very cool. This is called implicit and explicit operators. We can discuss this in another video. Okay. And here I have the string, but you can use var here. It will infer the type because it's it is a string. So this is the most primitive way you can use the plus sign to join more strings. For example, I want to join, I want to concatenate uh, a blank space here. So my name won't be so close here. And then I can use the dot net run to run this program again. And as you can see, we have uh, joined two strings with a blank space here inside. And this is the most primitive one. Personally, I don't recommend using it very often. If you need something very fast that you won't use often, this probably will be the best and easy way. But there's another way to concatenate strings that I'll show you in a few seconds here that is more effective than this. Okay, moving on to my favorite one, which is string interpolation. Okay, the first one was the string concatenation, this one here, but then we have the string interpolation. Okay, in C sharp, every time that we create a string, by the way, a uh, string in C sharp is given by this double quotes here. If you use single quotes, it's defining a char. A string is just an array of chars. Okay, anyway, if you're defining a string here, you can simply come here and put the dollar sign here in front. And then inside this string, let's say that I have my middle name here, okay, and some space. If I run this program, nothing gonna happen, okay, dot, dot, run here. It will just print my middle name here, okay. But let's suppose that I want to print these two variables here. Since I have the dollar sign here, I just need to open and close curly brace here and say first name first name. As you can see, it's already showing the autocomplete here. Okay, so this have my first name and here comes my last name. So if you want to interpolate your strings or even some string concatenations here in C Sharp, this is my favorite way to do this. Okay, just, just put the dollar sign here and use your strings like this. I think this is the most practiced way. I only use the plus sign in very specific cases like demonstrations, for example. Okay, but let's suppose that you want to concatenate a lot of strings. Strings in C Sharp are immutable, which means that every time that you manipulate a string, that you insert something in a string, you subtract something in a string, you append something to your string, it will generate another string. I wrote an article about it. I will let it in the description if you want more details about it. But if you want to concatenate a lot of strings, the way to do it, the right way to do it, is using something called String Builder. String Builder, okay? We have a specific class to do this. As the name says, it's a String Builder, so if you want to compose a long string, Okay, you can use the string builder. In this case, what's gonna happen is, for example, every time that you concatenate a string, it creates another string, right? When you use a string builder, it will basically create a buffer of strings and will just join your strings at the end. So you won't have a new string created after each concatenation. So you can use sb.append or append line. It have a lot of 
uh, methods here that you can use but let's stick to append and let's say my name here sb.append let's put a blank chair here sb.append let's put my surname here my last name okay and then we've got a string builder we have a string builder here by the way this is not a string this is a string builder an object we need to convert it to a string using the two string method here so every time that you say sb.toString Okay. it will convert it to a string so let's use the console.write line sp.toString here and as we can see it will probably output my name here with a blank space here so my name blank space and my last name okay in some case like this when you use console.write line the write line method also invokes the to string method here so don't need to use this this will perfectly work here but most of the cases if you want to output a string from your string builder you probably you need to use sb.toString another very common and frequently used method in strings the substring method allows us to bring some parts of our string so to pick some part of our string for example string sentence equals I'm using strings just to be explicit here okay most of cases I use var I prefer to use var but just for emphasize that this is a string, I'm using string here. Let's put a welcome to C sharp, okay? This is our sentence here. Let's extract a word from here. So string word equals to, and then I can use the sentence, okay? And then I can use the substring method. The substring method expects the start index and the length for example here if i put 11 here slash uh, comma 2 i've got the 11th char here so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 from 11 is excluding the 11th char which is a blank space i will pick up the next two one two so i got the word c sharp here uh, let's print it on the screen console dot right line word okay let's print to our terminal clear done run okay then we have c sharp printed here okay since that net nate if i'm not wrong we can use the range operator here i can simply output dot dot two not sure <laughs> I always forget about it. Well, this is the first two chars to slash slash. Let's pick up the 11 slash slash. Let's do this. Okay. So what I did here was use the range operator. So I skipped the first 11 chars and pick up the rest one here. I can use the two here to pick up just the two remaining chars here and so go on. So this is .NET 8 and above only, if I'm not wrong, okay, but I'm almost sure that is it was introduced on .NET 8. The last one is two methods that I, I think they are really useful because they allow us to join and to split strings in our code. So let's create here some text equals to apple, banana uh, and cherry, for example, okay? So this is a text, uh, it is separated by a comma here, okay? All my texts are separated by a comma. This is also a common pattern that we see called CSV, CSV, comma separated values, okay? I will just rename it to text here because this is just the text for us, okay? So let's say that I want to split all these values by the comma. Okay, each comma I will find, I will separate this as an item for my value. So var fruits equals to text dot split, and here comes the char to split. Okay, so in this case, I'm using the single quote here because this is a char, this is not a string. You can use a string here, okay, you can do this, but the char is more optimized for the scenario since we can we want to extract our text extract the item from our text separated by just one chart comma in this case uh, so text dot split we will split our string uh, by comma so it will create another uh, string here as you can see this is an array of strings so these are 
a list of string here containing apple, banana, and cherry. Okay, so if you run now a for each, okay, for each fruit in fruits, I can simply say console.write line fruit and it will probably print all the fruits for me. So here we have apple, banana, and cherry separated on each line, which means that it iterated the fruits, the list of fruit, and extracted all the items from the fruits for me. Let's suppose now that we want to join all these fruits together and create a CSV for this fruit. Okay, for CSV, now I'll use this name, equals string dot join. Again, we can use the comma here as a char, and then we pass the list of fruit, which must be an array of strings, so this way we can join strings together. So, if I run the console dot right line here, the CSV, we have the, the same pattern as we started. So, we have now all these fruit separated line by line, and then they join together, okay? If you want to exchange here, you can exchange it or put in chair you want, it will work. Now it's separated by a pipe, okay? And you can even use a string here. You can use some string like this, okay? This will also work here for string.join. Very nice. So that's it for today, guys. If you like this video, if you like this content, please consider to like and subscribe to this channel and share this video to help us to create more content like this. Please feel free to leave any comments below, to leave your opinion about string interpolation, string concatenation, split, or any other methods. If you have any tips to manipulate string, it will be also very welcome here. Okay? See you next video. Thank you. Bye.